This is Paul. Paul traveled around telling people about Jesus and starting new churches. Paul also wrote lots of letters to help and to encourage people in these churches as they learned how to follow Jesus. During Paul's second missionary journey, he met a young man named Timothy. Timothy had learned about God from his mother and grandmother. Eunice and Lois taught Timothy the scriptures since he was an infant. Timothy was fully prepared to trust in Christ when he learned about who Jesus was. Timothy was young, but he had a great faith, and he went with Paul on many of his trips to visit churches. Paul sent Timothy to help churches, and he even became the pastor of the Church of Ephesus. Paul wrote the letter that we call 1 Timothy to lead his church well. Paul shared that leaders should both learn from God's word and teach it well. Paul told Timothy to train himself for godliness. Just like athletes work and train to be ready for their sport, leaders should work to know God and serve his people. Paul told Timothy that it didn't matter if he was young. He said, let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. No matter his age, Timothy could be an example for all believers by living and leading like Jesus called him to. Paul wrote a second letter to Timothy. Paul had been imprisoned in Rome, and he knew that soon he would be killed for preaching about Jesus. Paul reminded Timothy that following Jesus would include hard times and even suffering, but that trusting in Jesus was worth it and that God was faithful. Paul encouraged Timothy to avoid all the useless things that would waste time and distract him from God's word. Instead, Timothy and other followers of Jesus should pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace. As believers do God's work, they should be kind, teach God's truth, and correct those who are doing wrong things. Paul warned that as time went on, people would act worse and worse. They would be selfish, love money too much, be disobedient to their parents, and would love fun more than they loved God. Some would even pretend to be godly, but not really trust in Jesus' power. Paul reminded Timothy that God gave his followers the Bible so that they would know how to live and how to serve him. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Timothy learned a lot from Paul about how to lead the church and serve Jesus. We learn from Paul's letters to Timothy that God wants to use each of us to help build his church and spread the good news of Jesus. He calls us to grow closer to Jesus, discover the ways he wants to use us, and to live like he wants us to live. God wants to use his people to be examples to others. This isn't the first time in the Bible that we see God's heart for young people. Remember, Jesus himself welcomed the children into his presence. Jesus loves kids, and Jesus loves the church. In Paul's letters to the Ephesians, he calls Jesus the head of the church. While he uses his people to work and serve, he is the one in charge, and he is the one who the church is all about. Jesus loves the church and gave himself for believers by dying on the cross. The church's job now is to worship him and to tell the world about him.